on who wants to be a millionaire. You found my weak spot, which is sports. Um, I would like to phone a friend. Doug, who scored the winning penalty kick for the U.S. during the 1999 Women's World Cup soccer final? Randy Chastain. Thank you, sweetie. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm almost positive. Leave out the adjective or where it's okay, an adverb I'm... or whatever. Final answer? Yes. You called the right guy. It's Randy Chastain. Fastest time, Michael Shutterly. Three hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. You've won a thousand dollars. And now, from New York City, night nine of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, folks, go get him. Thank you. Thanks very much. Hi, everybody. We just still been here. We're in week number two of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We're happy to tell you last week some 81 million viewers watched our program, and more and more people are telling us it's becoming a regular viewing party. So we're happy you're with us and hoping somebody soon, maybe tonight, becomes a millionaire. I mean, I can't wait. I really mean this. I can't wait to write out that ABC check for $1 million. I am desperate to give away ABC's money. And tonight, it could go to this man in the hot seat right here. Michael Shutterly from Virginia, from Richmond, Virginia. Married, he has three sons. He's an attorney, a coin collector, a Boy Scout leader. And congratulations on being with us again tonight. Mm -hmm. Wife Margaret standing by, sitting by up there. Margaret, nice to see you again. And then your three sons, did you hear from them? Yeah, I spoke with them on the phone. They were all still up when we got back to the hotel, and they were extremely pleased to how old is going on uh, 13 Jeffrey's 13 Andrews 11 and Nicholas is 8 so you're ready to go tonight ready to go All right, let me bring you up to date this is where you stand you've got a thousand dollars guaranteed you've got all your three lifelines and that's terrific 50 50 where the computer will take away two of the wrong answers giving you a 50 50 shot at getting it right you can ask the audience see how they feel about it or you can phone a friend anywhere in America for help ready to go ready to go all right then let's play who wants to be a millionaire for two thousand dollars take a look at this who is the current president of the national rifle association ralph reed tom Selleck, william bennett charlton heston i was hoping to see ben hur but i would say charlton heston uh number d final answer final answer you're right it's charlton heston $2, For $4,000, here we go. Which of the following is not a business-focused publication? Barron's, Fortune, Esquire, Morning Star. Esquire. Uh, my answer would be Esquire, C. Sure about this? Sure about this. Confident? Confident. And final answer? And final answer. And it's the right one, $4,000. Here it is for $8,000. On the classic Andy Griffith show, the city of Mayberry is located in what state? South Carolina, Georgia, North Carolina, West Virginia. I'd say it's North Carolina, number C. Number C, final answer? Final answer is C. Mayberry, North Carolina is the answer. Absolutely right. And still he has his three lifelines intact. Here it is. What breed is President Clinton's current dog, Buddy? Labrador Retriever, German Shepherd, Cocker Spaniel, Golden Retriever. I'd like to ask the audience to Want to ask help the out audience? on this one. All right, fine. Good enough. All right, audience, we need a little help on your keypads using A, B, C, or D. Please vote now. Well, there it is, 62% say it's a uh, Labrador Retriever, and the Golden Retriever came in second, 25%. What do you think now, Michael? Well, I think I have to go with the voice of the people. Um, I would say Labrador, Labrador Retriever A. Labrador Retriever A, and that is uh, then your final answer. It's my final answer. 
The audience was right. You're right. Thank you. Lots of all Very good. Only used one lifeline. You've got 16000 going for 32000 Another guaranteed level and six questions away from a million dollars. Are you excited, Mike? I'm pumped. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back in a moment. See how he does. Stay with us. Okay, we're back now. Michael Shoverly from Richmond, Virginia, six questions away from winning $1 million. Can I ask you a personal question? You certainly may. Why am I more excited about this than you? <laughs> oh, this is just so cool. You're such a supporting person. It just makes it easy for everybody. All right, Mike. Are you ready to go? Ready to go. Let's play for $32,000. <laughs> Who wrote the best-selling book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus? Was it John Gray, John Bradshaw, John Grisham, James Redfield? Someone has suggested I'm from an entirely different planet from either of those, but that particular author would be John Gray for answer A. Final answer? Final answer. You're right, it's John Gray for 32 This is what your name looks like on the $32,000 check, but we want more. We want you to get more. Uh, here comes the $64,000 question. Of course, you know, if you don't get it, you'll always leave with $32,000. Check it out. What is the name of the chartered yacht on which Gary Hart traveled to Bimini with Donna Rice in 1987? Risky business. Business as usual. Monkey business. Show business. All four of them accurately describe what was happening. Um, <laughs> go for C, monkey business. Monkey business C. Confident? Confident, reasonably confident. Final answer. Final answer. You're right, it was monkey business. <laughs> All right, Michael, here it is. This is what it looks like. Your name on a $64,000 check. But no, no, we want you to continue. And now you're going for $125,000. Two lifelines still intact, 50-50, a phone a friend. Four questions away from $1 million. Here it is for $125,000. In 1912, the Titanic departed from what English port? Bristol, Dover, Portsmouth. Southampton. Try 50-50. 50-50, sure. Computer, would you please take away two of the wrong answers, leaving uh, Michael just one wrong answer and the correct answer, please. Dover or Southampton? I'm glad you knocked out the other one. Uh, I would, my answer would be Southampton, uh, answer number D. That cleared it up for you? That cleared it up for you. Southampton. Final answer? My final answer. You're right, Southampton. $125,000. Big money. Thank you. Three questions away from $1 million, one lifeline left. We'll be right back to see how he does in a moment. Okay, Michael Shuttley had $125,000 going for a quarter million dollars. Incidentally, if you miss this, you'll be reduced $93,000 back to $32,000. But you're three questions away from uh, the million dollars, and you've got one lifeline. You can phone a friend anywhere in America. So if you are ready for a quarter million dollars... Ready for a quarter million dollars. Let's play. Traditionally, what form of address is used when writing a letter to a foreign ambassador? His or her eminence? His or her excellency? The honorable? Mr. or Madam President?
I'd like to call a friend on this one. Sure, who would you like to call? Call my mom. Call your mother? Yes. We always go back to our mother, don't we? Yes, we do. What's your mother's name? Uh, you can try Nikki. Nikki? Yeah. All right. Our friends at AT&T will get Nikki on the line, see if she can help her son. Hello? Nikki? Yes, who? Yes. Well, this is Regis Philbin from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, oh, okay. I'm here with your son, Michael. Oh. And he's calling for his mommy. Oh, what did I do? No. <laughs> It's kind of very important, Nikki. He's won 125000 He's going for 250000 and needs some help with this question. When he comes on the line, he will read you a question and then four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. So the next voice you'll hear will be Michael. Michael, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts right now. The question is, traditionally, what form of address is used when writing a letter to a foreign ambassador? Is it his or her eminence, his or her excellency, the honorable, or Mr. or Madam President? Michael, I don't know. Can I see the first? Uh, can I say Michael? Um, I think so. Would I use That's right. Just say something. Huh? Just say something real quick. Uh, I think the first. Sorry about that, but the time was up. <laughs> Um, I will, my aunt, I will go for this one. And you will go for I this one. I will go for this one. You know, you can leave. You can walk away with 125000 right now, or risk losing 93000 Just want you to know that. Yes. I'll go for it. Could it go for it? Uh, my answer would be his or her excellency, answer B. Pretty sure of this? Sure enough to risk losing $93,000. All right. Final answer? Final answer. His or her excellency is the right answer. You won. <laughs> okay, here's a quarter million dollars right there. Right there, made out to you. Can I touch this one? Yeah, you can touch it, sure. Oh, that's All good. right, there you go. Here's where you are. Two questions away from a million, going for a half million right now. You've won 250,000. If you miss this, you'll be reduced 218,000 back to 32,000. So why don't we take a look at it? Let's take a look. Here it comes. What was the real name of Pope John Paul I, who served as Pope for about a month in 1978? Albino Luciano. Eugenio Pacelli, Giuseppe Sarto, Giovanni Braschi. Pacelli was Pope Pius the Twelfth. Sarto was Pius the Tenth. I'll say it's Albino Luciani. My answer would be A. No lifelines left, so I'm you have stuck to go with, with myself. What yeah, you're stuck with yourself, which ain't bad. Albino Luciani. Albino Luciani. That's your final answer. That is my final answer. Half million dollars. Half million dollars. And you won it! <laughs> Albino Luciani! <laughs> wow. Good job, Good job. All right. Well, this, uh... This could be it. This could be it. One million dollars. You've won a half million, going for a million. We're going to come back and see how you do in just a moment. Don't go away now. Come on. Terribly excited for Michael Shutterly. He has just won the biggest prize in primetime television history, $500,000, and there it is right there on this check. Now, Michael, you're out of lifelines. You've won $500,000. You could leave any time you want before you say final answer. If you miss this, you'll lose $468,000. You'll leave here with $32,000. But if you get it, you leave with this, $1 million. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
We all set? All set. Here we go. On February 22nd, 1989, what group won the first Grammy Award for Best Hard Rock Metal Performance? Was it Metallica, ACDC, Living Color, Jethro Tull? One difficulty is there's only one out of the four that I've ever listened to, and it's the one that I know for sure isn't the answer. So I will not be a millionaire, but I'll be half a millionaire. So I'll, I'll stop at this point. Congratulations. Put it there, Michael. Here's your check. Margaret, come on down. Here's your wife. Half a million dollars. Oh my gosh, came so close to giving away $1 million. He only heard of one of the bands, so I guess he did the right thing. There are probably heavy metal fans, I know, all over the country screaming at the TV sets, Jethro Tull! Next time, maybe. All right, maybe one of our next 10 players will make it to a million, who knows? Let's meet them right now, okay? They are Holly Buchanan, Silver Spring, Maryland. Mark Dixon, Wilmington, Delaware. Wayne Myers, Cave Creek, Arizona. Brian Rogers, Ormond Beach, Florida. Harry Eisenberg, Paramus, New Jersey. Peter Berghoff, Chicago, Illinois. Rich Beck, Elk Ridge, Maryland. Eric Larson, Laurel, Maryland. Zach Horan, Margate, New Jersey. And Pierre Laterno, Port St. Lucie, Florida. Okay. Congratulations, everybody. Hope you're all set now. Now, here comes the fastest finger question. Put the following female groups in the order of their debut album, from the oldest to the most recent. The Go-Go's, Wilson Phillips, TLC, The Supremes. All right, time's up, everybody. Let's see the answer in the correct order. From the oldest to the most recent. The Supremes. The Go-Go's. Wilson Phillips. TLC. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right. And in the fastest time, Mark Dixon. Mark Dixon. Hey, congratulations, Mark. Good for you. Mark Dixon going for winning. Wow. Exciting night around here. Mark Dixon is our next contestant. He's a credit card uh, anal business analyst for a credit card company, right? That's correct. Down there in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, you know the rules, don't you, yes, Mark? Yes, sir. You ready to play? You Why don't we I get am. into it right now? Okay, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. For $100, here it is. Which of these items is not traditionally associated with Easter? Bunny. Pumpkin. Lily, egg. I'd say that'd have to be B, pumpkin. Absolutely right, Mark, for $100. $200. Check it out, Mark. In the popular comic strip by Jim Davis, what kind of animal is Garfield? Cat, dog, bear, sponge. Garfield would be a cat. The egg. You're right, he's a cat. That sound means we're out of time for tonight, but what a night it was. I mean, we gave away a half million dollars, but you're going to come back tomorrow night, okay, Mark? And let's see who'll be joining you tomorrow night right here. <laughs> Harry B. Graff, Amy Case, Bill McDonald, Mark Bourne, Tom Sharpton, Allison Miller, Ron Herman, Chris Johnson, Scott Prime, Amanda Johnson. Hey, if you're sitting at home thinking, I could be a contestant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, this is your last chance. Lines close at noon Eastern tomorrow.
All you have to do is pick up a touchstone phone, dial 1-900-933-9391. Total cost of the call, $1.50. You'll have to correctly answer several multi-part questions of increasing difficulty. If you're fast enough, you'll qualify for a free telephone playoff. If you're one of the winners, you can be a contestant. But remember, don't all call at once. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 8.30, 7.30 Central Time. Good night, everybody, from New York. Stay tuned for the Drew Carey Show, coming up next on ABC.